Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. As promised, we are back to share with you a DIY for Kavi Sharma's backstage vanity. Just like the American Girl version, our vanity has functioning lights around the mirror for that extra fun touch, and a cork bulletin board to pin Kavi's rehearsal schedule, messages, and inspo pictures. You can also check out fellow crafter Dolls and DIYs to see how she makes cube shelving and storage bins perfect for Covey's set. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a new DIY. Okay, let's get making! For this craft, we used a combination of 10 and 5mm foam board. Start with the side walls, then remove a thin rectangle from the top corner of each piece. Cut the back wall top and bottom pieces, the lower wall, mirror, vanity countertop and base, two smaller side walls and finally the L-shaped legs. To assemble, glue the top between the side walls then affix the large back wall. You want the foam board inserted 2cm from the back edge as seen on screen. Now glue in the bottom piece ensuring it is flush with the back of the vanity. Flip over and adhere the lower wall, followed by the two L-shaped legs. Next, take your counter pieces and make a box, then glue it to the leg tops and lower wall. It was at this point we just couldn't ignore the paint colour. The purple is dull with too much red hue. It's just wrong. So we went back to the hardware store and got this vibrant gloss purple squirt brand and repainted all our pieces. Now that it looks more like the American Girl item, we can get working on the fun mirror. Trace your foam board mirror piece onto paperboard and cut away an inner rectangle. Along the border, cut or punch holes for the mirror lights. Glue this to the front of your mirror, then paint a bright pink. In our DIY backstage set, we inlaid white paper circles into the holes but today we will step it up to include a working light feature. Using these mini bulb fairy lights. This set has four pastel colours and over eight different light combinations. Carefully cut holes through the foam board for the bulbs and a slot for your finger to reach the battery switch. On the back side, pop a mini bulb into each hole and tape down. This way you can remove the lights later if desired. Position the battery pack into the right lower corner of your vanity, securing with more tape. We then used strips of double-sided tape along the exposed foam core. This way the mirror will adhere to the vanity but can be peeled off later to change the batteries with no damage to the set. Here we recycled an older set of squinky toys. They are adorable but we just want the clear capsule. Cut apart to get two domes. Paint white then glue over each bulb for a light cover. Check everything is aligned correctly and enjoy the fun of your very own light up theatre style mirror. It looks so, so good when the room lights are turned off. Next, take gold foil cardstock to mimic corner protector plates. On the back side, draw one centimetre grid lines as your guide. Cut out a rectangle and mark the six squares seen on screen. Cut away the blank squares, then fold the cardstock in half horizontally. Glue a protector plate to each front corner of the counter and to each corner of the back wall. For more detail, adhere little round gems to the plate. We coloured our gems gold with a Posca pen to match the gold cardstock. Now the front of the vanity is complete, we can work on the back. Cut another foam board rectangle for the reversible panel. Paint one side the same vibrant purple. Then glue a strip of specialty cork scrapbook paper to this. Our props box is made from black cardstock and silver foil paper. Affixed to the bottom of the panel. Here we will use square balsa blocks to mount our panel to the vanity. First, space them evenly across the top, then trace and cut out the openings. For the reverse side, we googled colourful music themed graffiti art to download and print off an image. I'll leave a link to this one in the description box below. 
Now position the panel inside the lip we created in our vanity back wall and glue in the balsa blocks. Now you can hang the board either way. For more fun, we screenshot promo images of Covey's pin board and created a simple printable for you to add these details to yours. Finally, we painted a pin hook gold. You can find these at Daiso and pushed it through the foam board, giving us a sturdy place to hang our doll bags. We hope you have fun making your dolls their own backstage vanity. Thanks for joining me today and see you again soon for more miniature crafting fun.